Well, hello everyone. Welcome to Thrifty Thursday, which is an open collaboration hosted by my good friend Sherry of Turquoise Streaming. And basically we just share our thrifty finds, um, you know, of the week or whenever. <laughs> so what you're looking at are some items that I picked up at Goodwill. And the first one here is a little, actually this one might not have been. So Goodwill and one other thrift store that I go to. Um, little Red Riding Hood. This I believe I picked up in um, a little thrift store. Um, oops. That I go to sometimes. And I love the end papers in this book. It is a big one. So it is about 12 by nine and a half. So it's a pretty big book. But I thought even if I don't use it for the journals, for the pages for a journal... Look at these beautiful um, end papers that I can fussy cut. And it's pretty plain on the back. But this is really in excellent condition. Except for an, a little issue in the spine. Uh, oh, and look. It's funny. It has this book belongs to in the back. That's interesting. But it's just really sweet. And some of the images are small enough that if I wanted to cut it into tags. Oh, look at this. It's so pretty. So cute. You know, I could definitely do that. So, yeah, and I love the paper on it, too. So, that's the first book. Then, I got this one, A Lasting Friendship. And this is actually a book. I had a similar book that was, like, dedicated to mothers. And I actually punched out a whole bunch of tags and, um, you know, little shapes out of the, the pretty images. And they turned out so cute. So I'm going to do that with this one as well. Really cute. And then even the cover too. The cover, you know, it's already thick. The paper pages, um, I backed up with a file folder. So that's what I did. I could not leave this book behind. It's not much to look at here. The dust jacket is kind of worn. But look at this. Is that not a gorgeous book cover? Inside the poems, I mean, are all right, but look at these beautiful end papers. And then um, there's a couple of images in here, mostly just poems, but there's a couple of pages, and it's interesting. It's got images, the paper, pages that have images have an image in the back and in the front, and I think there's only like four of them. There's this one, that's two. And three. I think there's one more. Yep, that one. The rest is poems, but the pages are nice, um, you know, nice quality paper as well. So that is an awesome, probably end up being a journal uh, cover. This I thought was super cute. Molly McIntyre. This is an American Girls um, stationery set, and it looks like it might all be there. Um, I did not count the sheets, but it's got your stationary paper, and then it has cards, just with that same image. Oh, she's got, so they're different. This one is facing this way. So there's some port portrait and landscape. Looks like a couple of portrait and a couple of landscape um, cards. And then all the stickers seem to be there. These are the stickers. Oh, cool. There's these stickers, too. I didn't see these. How sweet. Oh, here's another card. I think maybe some... Oh, maybe this is to put under the... Oh, how clever. You put this under the stationery so that you can write straight. That is really cool. And then the envelopes. So, again, I did not count how many of each there are, but... It looks like there's enough to, you know, send out the cards and maybe write some letters. So that is a really sweet stationery set. Looks like it may all be complete, too. Awesome. All right. Let's put it back. Then I couldn't resist, because it's a paper doll book, uh, Fancy Nancy's Perfectly Posh Paper Doll Book. And um, the corners are a little bent but I mean everything inside is perfect the dolls are in the back and all the clothes 
are in there and they're a nice thick paper too very colorful wardrobe and there's stickers as well and everything is intact so yeah kind of have to get it my daughter used to love the fancy nancy books when she was a little girl um now she she's into other things but then I always love to pick up Dover coloring books. They're very educational and they're just nice quality. Usually have colored in pictures in the inside covers. This is about the Lewis and Clark expedition. And again, nothing is colored in in this book. Oh, I lied. No, I didn't lie. <laughs> I thought I saw some, some coloring, but there isn't. Then um, I kind of paid up for this, but oh... Um, I thought it was still a good deal. Um, trading card album. This I did buy to resell. Um, but, sorry, let me get you here. It looks like there's uh, all the cards may be there. I didn't have time in the store to go through and see the, if all the cards were there. But there's also these extra cards as well as a little button pin in, in this little bag here. Let's see what these cards are. Uh, Valerie Tripp changes. So yeah, I, I'm thinking these are extra cards, but aren't they sweet? And they would make really cute journaling cards as well. Um, you know, if you didn't want this in the back, you can just cover the. Oh, this is a a check off list. You could just cover the back, um, and have some really cute journaling cards for junk journals. Or if you just like to collect the American Girls, it looks like there's five of them in here. Uh, Felicity, Kristen, Addie, Samantha, and Molly. So, let's see. Six. It looks like they may all be here. That is so cool. Um, again, I'm not going to verify everything right now during this video. Look how cute the little lamb. Do you see it? Am I, am I in focus here? I love that little card by itself. If there's duplicates of that, I'm definitely using that as a journal card. Let's see. Nope. Not in here. Maybe maybe in the... Well, I guess there isn't. It would have been right there, I imagine. So, okay. Oh, look how sweet. Love that little girl in the pictures. Yeah, so there's definitely, definitely a lot of really nice cards in here, even if the whole thing isn't there. So, um, sorry, I said I was not going to go through the whole thing, and here I am flipping through the whole thing. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, you get the idea. Hopefully, um, somebody will be interested in this. If not, I'll probably just end up, um making little journaling cards or trading cards out of the uh well they are trading cards already so <laughs> i thought that was a cool find so couldn't leave it behind then uh the rest of the stuff i did pick up at goodwill and the first thing i picked up was this book post cats it's just a little gift book but um check it out they're all these cats and it's the full page image and then it's got some uh, poem or something on the back so I thought I could just take the cats and glue them on some cardstock and they would be really cool postcards because they're already postcard size kind of postcard postcard format and they're just so cute so yeah I couldn't resist that one either I'm not necessarily a cat person but I love all cute furry things then there's this set of Mary Engle Bright Note Cards. It says, success consists of, what, setting? S getting up once oftener than you fall down. So that's sweet. Then there was this box of, it looks like Stampin' Up, if that's the correct box, um, little paper flowers. Let me see if they are paper. Um, yeah, probably. But these are nice because most of them are white. There's a couple of small ones of another color. But, you know, they can be uh, inked or stained any color. So those are really cool. 
then uh, this little stationery set um, they're envelopes and cards so these are cards they're just flattened they haven't been folded yet but there we go they're like this folded very pretty and not sure how many are there but it looks like there's plenty so that is cool then I always pick up these if I can get them for less than a dollar and I think these were half off so I got them for yep for 50 cents and um, they're ipsy bags I used to have I used to get an ipsy subscription but I used up all my bags um, I've been using them either in packaging or um, yeah, mostly in packaging or like sending Happy Mail or whatever inside of them. But these were two of my favorites, so I had to get them. I was glad that they were half off. So there's that one. And um, this came in a bag. In one of those, um, you know, ba bags that they bundle up. And I opened one of them, and I've actually been using them. Uh, I didn't realize they had the little... Uh, what do you call it? Uh, sport line in the on the ins, in the middle. I mean, it shows it there, but I didn't notice it. But I thought this would be nice for sealing my packages, um, and like maybe even stamping a little thank you in there. I'll have to see if I have a small thank you stamp. Uh, but the idea is, if you have um, some packaging or an envelope or something, um, let's say it's a card, you can put this over the edge to seal it like this. You know. So, here, let's use this paper as an example. Say this was a card. Fold it in half. You could put this like that and seal it like this. And then it would be sealed. Isn't that cool? And then, of course, because we are crafters, we can, before putting it on here, either stamp, ink, or color this, you know, whatever. So, and I've got a bunch of them in here. 600 labels per package. So I can definitely share some of these. Um, I'm working on my first package right here. <laughs> so those were pretty cool. Then I have not picked up Reader's Digest books in a long time. Because I've been seeing them for like $3 or more. And that's a little bit too much for me. Um, because uh, if I sold them, I would probably sell them for at least $3, you know. Um, so I don't, um, it wouldn't be worth it. But I was able to get these for less. So, and they were pretty. The covers were really pretty, so I decided to go ahead and pick these two up. There was one other, but the cover wasn't, you know, great. I mean, these are not, like, super-duper unusual either, but I, I like the colors. And the spines are in pretty good shape, too. So, ooh, I love the patina on these pages. It's funny how some of them get really dark and some of them don't. And they're probably about the same age. Let's see. Indian headdress 78 and this one is 78 so it's like I don't get it <laughs> anyway I got that <laughs> okay I also found this cute little wall plaque okay let's be honest it is a little creepy she looks like her head is not on quite right and everything but I couldn't resist it was just a couple of dollars and it, it is a vintage uh, plaque from 19. Mm, 77 so I thought I might be able to flip that I thought it was still cute enough that somebody might might want it and if not it was only a couple of bucks so I'm you know I might just put it in my room or do something with it I don't know uh, this I picked up at the Dollar Tree it was random I picked up some other household things but I did pick this up it says big ideas and it has an elastic uh, closure here however I'm going to take the pages apart because it's got dot pages. So I'm going to include the dot pages in uh, journals that I have coming up. And yes, I will be making some journals. Um, this um, is another one of those um, pouches that um, I like to pick up whenever I can get them, you know, at a good price. And I think this was 50 cents also. Well, look at that. It's got a nice little uh, charm on the end. Yep, it was like 50 cents. So, um, and then this, uh, command strips are so expensive. I actually have some of these little hooks um, somewhere. And so for a dollar, I figured it was good to pick these up. It could also be used like poster, um, like poster hangers. So I thought that was cool. 
All right. The, the next two things I was actually really excited about. Um, I just thought this was so pretty. Look at this gorgeous box. So it is a box. It is a stationary box. And it opens like this. And then this kind of goes over this little flap right here. So look at this gorgeous stationery. There's not a bunch. I don't know if there's any missing from the original, but there's, you know, there's a few sheets in there. I really love it. And this would be really cute in journals as well, like folded like this in a smaller journal or as a smaller page. And at the bottom, there's a little drawer and it has the envelopes. Now, some of the envelopes have, are discolored, as you can see. But who cares? I mean, they're really cute. And there's a bunch of them in there. So I'm thinking maybe I was missing some cards or something. But check this out. This entire group of cards is sealed and everything with the envelopes. And this little uh, rubber band around it. So um, I believe I counted eight envelopes in there with eight cards. So that's cool. And again, there's this coloration because of the... Um, uh plastic coming off a little bit but i thought that was a super cute little um stationary card i'm definitely going to use the stationary and then the box is also great for storage then this i've had this before a while back um and i don't know if i used the cards or if they're still around somewhere in my stash but i love this um Again, it could be a great journal cover as it is, or cut, you know, cut it down to a different size for journal cover. I was actually thinking of covering the back with some pretty scrapbook paper and then cutting out the cards to actually have the deck of cards. I don't know if a full deck is in here or not. Some are repeated, but um, I thought it would be fun to have this size cards you know, for junk journals, so um, I was super excited to see that, and then of course, tons of little chips, these, um, eh, there's stuff you can do with them, I'm not sure what I would do with them, um, probably just put them in my scoop box, which is a little box that I, where I throw different things, random things, and then on my whatnot shows, I sell um, the random things by the scoop. So I just scoop out a cup of fun stuff, and that's a lot of fun. So anyway, that I was really excited about. But actually, the last thing was the thing I was most excited about, and it is this Scrabble game. Now, this is a travel Scrabble, and the box has been um, glue taped together, but... Um, check this out. I had this once before and I sold the tiles, just the tiles for crafting. I probably let them go too cheap, <laughs> but that's okay. I still got my money back and made a little bit, but check these out. It says lift and slide, lift and slide. I hadn't even counted them to see if they're all in here, but I didn't care. Aren't they adorable? So they're thicker than regular uh, Scrabble tiles and of course a lot smaller to fit into these little you know spots here because it's for travel isn't that cool so uh, original Scrabble tiles but they're like the the travel Scrabble so they're smaller it is so cool and let me see if there's a, a year yep copyright from 48 to 76 so this game is from the 70s isn't that cool? So, um, I could either sell it as is with the game as is, you know, it's taped in the back, or I could just sell the tiles by themselves. Um, I think I might just do the tiles because I might want to keep some of these <laughs> for myself and maybe just share some little groups of them. So in any case, I was super excited about this because it, it was a, it was an okay price. Um, you know, the games at the, at the Goodwill anymore sometimes are like four, five, six dollars. It's like, no, it's too much. But this one wasn't, it was okay. I was willing to pay for it just because it was a unique and different. So there's that. And then I got a bag of fabric. Um, 
because when I looked in the bag, uh, it looked like a good variety, and it is, but there are, these are very small pieces, like none of them are fat quarter, they're all smaller than a fat quarter, except for maybe this orange, because it looks like a nice big piece of this plain orange fabric, and then this one down here looks like a little bit bigger piece, might be a fat quarter on this one, or maybe even bigger, but all the others are just um, kind of strips, either small strips or long strips, but they're really fun, like there's this football one, and of course we don't need that much to use in our journals for a cover, or I actually have been uh, making ruffles out of them, and look at this bug one, isn't that fun? <laughs> well, it isn't if you don't like bugs, but <laughs> it would be fun for a garden journal, <laughs> and some little colorful whales, some pumpkins, this is a good um, fall print also, kind of like basket weave. And, ooh, this is really pretty. Kind of fancy. And here's a little piece. I also use small pieces to make my paper clips, like I showed in my last video. So that's a nice piece, too. I really like that fabric. Here's another kind of oldish looking one. These small print ones are great for making ruffles. Um, this looks like it might be a little bit bigger too. Oops, sorry for bumping you. Yep, looks like this might maybe be a fat quarter or bigger. So that's nice. I really like this fabric. It has a nice vintagey feel to it too. And then some cute little dogs. <laughs> Sweet. And then this one. This one would be great for like a sunflower journal or a fall or even summer actually, but it's more of like a mustard yellow. So yeah, I thought that was a great deal. I think I got the whole bag for like three bucks or something. So um, yeah, I was really happy about that. Um, I don't always find, you know, nice variety like this for that price. So I'm excited about that. All right, that is it. Not a whole, oh wait, there's one more thing. If somebody knows about this, tell me. I got it because it was just a couple dollars and I thought, oh, I got to try it out. It says Fastener EK Success. I tried putting regular staples in here. I thought, oh, it's a stapler, and it looks like a long arm stapler because it goes back to six inches. But regular staples did not work in here, so I don't know if it takes special staples or if it just doesn't work. So if you know about this, let me know. Um, it does look like maybe it takes larger staples. Um, I have to. I will have to look it up. Uh, because if, yeah, if it's just a matter of getting the right size stapler, staples, this is really cool because it goes up to six inches. So you could technically staple down to like the middle of a 12 by 12 paper, which would be really cool. So, all right. So that, those are my thrifty finds of the week. Please be sure to um, check out all the other Thrifty Thursday videos by using the hashtag Thrifty Thursday. And um, definitely check out uh, the video that um, Sherry will put out this week because, of course, she is the hostess. And if um, you liked what I got or you have any questions about anything, definitely leave me a comment in the comment section. I would love to hear from you. Thanks so much for watching. Have a blessed day. Bye-bye.